channel. I'm a bit of a different vibe today. I literally have just got out of the shower. I've got my pyjamas on and it's literally half 12 at night. I'm about to go on holiday tomorrow, but we're trying to keep ourselves up. So it's like, perfect time to do a YouTube video. Why not? So because I'm going on holiday, I decided to have a little shop on the Zara sale. I literally will just sit for like hours going through each individual category, like blazers, tops, dresses, all under £10. So everything I'm showing you in this video is less than £10, which I think is pretty impressive for Zara. I can't remember like each breakdown of each item and I was going to put it in my like link below, but the more I was thinking about it, I just feel like things will probably be in stock, be out of stock. So if there is anything that you think is really nice or you want to know how much it is or that you want the code, be more than happy to send it on. I just think if I sit and put each one line by line on, it might not even be in stock. I just go straight into it because I always spend forever and a day talking in my intro and not just getting to the clothes. So like I said, everything is under £10. Proper nice, proper bargain. The second one is just this little black dress and it's got like a bit of a higher boob detail. It's really thick. Again, I feel like you just can't really go wrong with a black dress and I think it'll look really nice with like a nice blazer and you could like dress it up or dress it down. So I thought that's cute. I'm having that. I actually bought like loads of stuff, um, ridiculous amounts, and I've sent like the majority of it back. I was thinking about doing the whole video of everything I bought, but 60% of it went, which shows how much I got because I got one. Then got this cute wee dress. I think this was literally six pounds. And although I probably wouldn't wear it anytime soon, I think I'm always stuck for outfits around Christmas. I see stuff like this and I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay £30 for that. But I thought I may as well just pay it back. I love it. I think it's so cute. Really nice. Then I got this lovely little corset top. Um, It's like a shirt, short corset, but I'm hoping to go out for a Valentine's Day meal. This would just be really nice with a pair of jeans. And also I could wear it to work or... Out like jeans and a nice top that is so difficult to find and I feel like this is perfect it's so thick as well I just love Sarah I feel like their quality is next to none next to nothing you'll have to let me know what saying I'm going for because I really can't remember next to no it's not coming to me we have this lovely little white top and it's got a, a cut out in the back and it's like a ribbed material of these puffy sleeves again I think this is just a nice maybe not jeans and a nice top but I think it could work actually something a little bit extra than your plain white top I also just got variation of sizes like I think this is a large yeah um but some stuff's a small some stuff's a medium I just always think, let's just try a couple of sizes because in Zara it is a little bit here, there and everywhere. But I just like, if it's got it and I like it in a small, medium and large, I'll just buy it and hope for the best. And it's a little bit big around the back, but it's fine. Then I got these fleecy green trousers. I feel like because I'm quite curvy, my bum's quite big. I always really like these trousers. I always feel like they suit me and kind of just like really show off my figure. Again, they're probably not a trouser that I would wear at the moment, but around Christmas time, again, I think 
these would just look really nice maybe on like Christmas day or something with a nice black bodysuit. So I do try and think ahead because you never know. And again, like these were, oh, they're only 20 pounds, but I think I paid like five or four of them. I like Primark prices that. Then I just got this little basic ribbed crop top. I'm actually gonna wear this to the airport tomorrow with my Juicy Couture tracksuit because I thought that would look really nice. Um, pretty basic, but I also got this wee ribbed polo top but this is so soft like it's just really nice and I thought it'd be quite nice for like working from home or with a pair of mum jeans um but it's just so soft and I I really like it on actually it's not something I'd normally pick up but I thought I'd just give it a go and I'm really glad that I did okay next up is like this it's hard to show you when I'm sat like this but it's just a little blouse. Again, jeans and a nice top kind of vibe. I feel like I don't have any nice tops, although I do have two chest of drawers of tops. So I think when I come back off holiday, I'm gonna have to sort it out. But I think this looks really nice on and it's lovely material. I think this was like a tenner, but it was meant to be like 26 pounds. And what a lovely color as well. And I feel like now I've got my dark hair, which you'll see in my transformation vlog, which I'll be putting up quite soon. I feel like something I was really worried about was how I was going to deal with, like, I know this sounds really stupid, but I was used to dressing for blonde hair, not brown hair. Um, but I think this really suits like my colour and my hair. And yeah, it's just really nice. Obviously, I'm going to say everything's really nice because I have bought it and kept it. Honestly, if you'd seen some of the stuff that I threw away and if I showed you like the try on clips, I think you'd actually howl with how bad they were. Like, do you know when you just buy stuff and you're like, why have I bought that? What was going through my mind? It was literally the whole time when I was unboxing these are parcels. Next up, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm obsessed with the colour green, Bottega green. This was just, I thought this was just like a really cute like daytime top. Um, again with like jeans and chunky trainers and I love I personally love a puff sleeve and I just think this is lovely I really like it on a good basic and something that I don't actually normally buy is like maxi or midi dresses but the Zara ones I always really like I always pick one up in the sale this is just like a plain black one but I think these are just really nice for in summertime like when you want to look nice but still be summery it's like a ribbed jersey long dress then we have we corset top i love a little corset top i got this in a small and now i don't have big boobs um but maybe i have a big back because it was quite a squeeze but when i was in it i thought it looked nice and it made me look like i had big boobs so i won't say no to that I think probably one of my favourite items in the whole haul. This! Look at that. I'm mesmerised. That is so cute. Again, I'm not sure if I would wear it at the moment just because I do think it's more of like a Christmas kind of outfit or top even. But again even maybe like christmas day i know we're in january probably february when i'm posting this but i like to think ahead because i don't like being without outfits and i just can we have a moment for the corset again i got this in a small because i don't have big boobs it this one wasn't quite as bad because it's quite like um, a ribbed stretchy material I think this was like six pounds. This one is sort of really, really nice. And then I had two other dresses and I'll put the try on clip here. But one of them I'm taking on holiday with me and it's like a black dress with a bow at the top. Again, I just thought it was a really nice classic black dress that you can't really go wrong with. And another dress, which I'll add the clip on, I wore at the weekend. I got so many compliments on it. I really like the Zara like linen dresses or like linen tops. I'm quite proud of myself. 
I've just looked and I've only been blathering on for like 13, 14 minutes. I am trying to make it quicker because I feel like when I'm watching the hauls, I'm like, next outfit, next outfit, next outfit. So yes, that is my Zara haul, all under £10. As always, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Um, if you do want any of the links, I'll be happy to send them over to you. And I will see you on my next vlog. Thanks, guys. Thank you.